Well, here on the program, we like to say that small towns make up the fabric of our state and every small town has a story. Today, we are putting the spotlight on the Nance County community of Fullerton. From a new swimming pool to a new child care center, residents have many reasons why they are proud to call Fullerton home. Here's more. Hi everyone, I am in Fullerton, Nebraska today with Suzanne Schweitz. Pretty area here. Population around 1,400? Somewhere in there, maybe a little less. So a nice sized town, you have a lot going for you. Tell me about your main street, what kind of shops you have? We just have a lot. Uh, we have a hardware store, a couple flower shops, grocery store, drug store, going down the street. <laughs> You're just walking down the street. So really all your needs kind of right Absolutely. there on Main yes. Street. Okay. So let's talk about some of the, the newer items here, some of the new places that you're very proud of. Fullerton Futures is our newest a daycare center. Then we also have River's Edge, the meat locker. The swimming pool is new. What are some of the features that stand out that the, the people who attend love? Well, it's got a little lazy river and a slide that the kids love and, and now kind of a walk-in feature for the little ones. Quite a, a, an investment and it's good for our community. It's also a draw for the young people. The Veterans Memorial is being renovated. And a lot of people like to come visit it. Yes, you know, they, they get a draw because you can walk through, there's a memorial wall and there's all the names of the people on there and you can walk through and find a relative or a friend and it uh, draws a lot of people. Let's talk about the daycare because I know you're very proud of this new daycare facility. Um, what will that do for your community? I think it'll help us bring in maybe the younger people and a place for them to, even if they don't work here, that they can have the daycare. And I think that's important to a lot of families. And without that, it makes it very tough for them to come here to live. Is it a preschool and a daycare? Yes, it's in a separate location, but they have availability in both. Talk about where we are right now. This building here looks like there's a lot of different offices right through here. This is basically the city building, which houses the city offices the city library, the daycare is in here, and then there's also a medical clinic on the other side. Um, golf course, I hear that's pretty nice here in town. It's very nice, it's north of town, um, nine holes, and the golf course, they, they do a lot of tournaments and that type of thing where we draw a lot of people from all over and they, they come and they stay and they play golf. Tell me about the Broken Arrow Recreation Area. Yes, they, uh, they provide tanking and, and um, water activities on the river and they also have a, an event center for like weddings and other types of events. Tell me about uh, the assisted living here you have in town. We have a very nice assisted living, you know, for our people, and then they also have the um, independent living to go along with it. Let's talk about this being the county seat too. So every year you host the Nance County Fair, right? Yes, there's groups that put on the events for that and um, it's, uh, it's quite a deal. They do a lot of work. Also, as far as the school system goes, Fullerton Public Schools. It is a five-star rated school. So are you from this area, Suzanne, originally? I grew up in Genoa. All right, so you married into the community. Yes. What makes it such a great place to live? It's just the people. The people make up the town. Everybody's friendly, Midwest people. Well, thank you for having us here to Fullerton. Really a nice community here in the middle part of our state. So, Suzanne, you would encourage anybody to come and visit your community, I'm sure. Oh, yes. And our motto here is pulling together for progress. Perfect. All right. Well, thanks for having us.